And you get it, that funny feeling someone's watching you. Yep. this next part is going to be a bit tricky. I'm going to check to see if I can get this to work. I don't know if it is up to scratch because the last electrical warrant on this thing was 2019. So I've got it plugged into the house. I haven't turned it on. Got it plugged into the house. Got it turned on here. The lead's plugged into the side of the combi. Uh, I'm going to go to the health side and now plug that in, see what happens. Wish me luck. And I also have the fire extinguisher on standby just in case something goes funny. Right, so I've got the appropriate fuse box here. So we'll go and plug that in and see how we go. Hopefully. Everything will be all right. Here we go. Well, nothing's happened at this end so far. But I'll tell you what, we do have a light up there, which is great. Okay, this might be promising. So there's a light up here. And this must be the right switch. Yep. So that's working. So is this, now I'm picking that this one might be a 12 volt light. So what I'm going to do is I'm now going to go and test all of these. Make sure we've got power. And how I can do that is I've got this lead here, which operates that light at the back. So I'll plug that in and that should tell me. So here we go. Plug the first one in. Turn that on, nothing, but there is a switch at the back here. Now, here's hoping. Oh yes, look at that, there is light. Great. So that's working. Right, so now we'll go to the next one. Try that. That's working. And we can go to the next one. Yep, that's working. Just turn that off first. Like that on. And yes, that's working. So far, so good. Now, the lead, unfortunately, will not reach those ones over there. So I'm going to have to get something else for that. But I think there was another power point in under here. Yes, there is. So I might try and test that one. Might have to get down on my hands and knees for this and see, see which way around this actually goes. It's a little bit. Oh, yes, brilliant! So that one's working, uh, which I'm pretty sure must be the one. Yes, it is, be the one for the fridge. Now, the fridge. I'm not sure where the fridge is going or not, so I'll just undo this and see why I'm not very keen on this fridge. Um, so there's no controls inside, so yes, yeah, so I got no answer from the fridge. Tried it's on 240 volts, which is what it needs to be set to. Tried the other knobs over here, still got nothing. One's a thermostat, and the other one's a push ones, which I would assume would be for gas. So nothing's at me. I know the gas is not hooked up to it. Um, so, yeah, might have to try that for another day. Well, I've tested all the power points that I could find in the camper van, and everything is working, which is really, really great.
um, so I'm really pleased with that um, I haven't smelt any smoke or anything untoward so that's really good um, so we'll leave it at that and I think I'll book the electrical warrant to be done and we'll be away as far as the electrical side goes great well, it's not every day you get to um, score a bit of a bargain. I managed to secure myself a whole set of beat up combi windows. That side windows, back windows, quarter light windows, front windows. I've even got two front windows here. All for one dollar. So that was a bargain. And in here, there's the front windows. So there's two there and down here I've got underneath I've got a whole lot of side windows. Yes so got to be happy with that. I'm going to, um, the camper is actually away right now. Um, the combi is up being serviced again. Um, they need to get some parts in or something but anyways I think my mechanics driven it more than what I have. <laughs> A little bit of a mad dash this morning. The um, the Holden um, that we use as our daily driver um, is due for a service this morning, and I slept in. And of course, the uh, the reminder notice was set on my phone to a default of ten minutes beforehand. So, yeah. Continue on Route 26 for uh, two kilometres. Um, so. Yeah, there's no way I was going to get there in 10 minutes, so just as well I realised beforehand because the GPS is showing to me that I'll get there 8 minutes early, so, um, so I might just make it. The combi is also at the, um, up at the mechanics, um, just getting a few little bits and pieces done. Um, the horn button was in the dash instead of on the steering wheel. The ignition um, key switch is also in the dash instead of the steering wheel. So, um, yeah, getting those put in the right places, um, a wheel alignment, and I think he's doing some work on the on the fuel line because I didn't want the fuel line going too close to the electrics, the way it was routed through the, the back. So, yeah, that's... Um, that's been rerouted through the back and uh, I think a little bit of work on the carby and she should be all go so I hope to hear soon about how she's doing a little bit of a surprise that uh, I took the Holden in to be serviced um, got a warrant and their blink that was fine but when I got home there was a dent on the roof which certainly wasn't there before well, I thought I took it up because I had just cleaned it so um, this is a dent have a look at this I don't know if you can see it but it's right in here this whole area is actually like a fist has gone down if I just wipe that I don't know if that shows it but anyway, um, yeah, so I, I rang them up about it and um, expecting to get the old, um, oh no, it wasn't us, sort of carry on and all this sort of thing. But lo and behold, they said, we'll look into it. Gave me a ring the next morning and said, I've got a guy jacked up, we'll fix it. It was under our care. So, um, yeah, um, good old fashioned customer service is back. Yay! And so I'm super pleased about that. So thank you to um, Bill Trap and Wairau Road. That was great, great results. So I'm going to take the um, car back up to them tomorrow and they'll, they'll sort it all out. So that's really, really good. I'm stoked.